Okay, next item on the agenda, Jerry. Public left. <laughs> they left. <laughs> they're tired of us. It's their turn to talk and they decided. Jesse, uh, if you're, I would like to set up put seven shield eight posts eight. around that. If you're right right on right on right. Right. I get one. Say that again. Poles around the Sparky's light. Yeah, it's a good into it. Yeah, the light, it ain't light. It ain't Sparky's light. Down at Sparky's corner of the city's light. <laughs> street it light. It. The street, the street light. Five. Yeah, you know, forty bucks a pop for a light bulb. Okay. So you do what? Bury your concrete. No, I'm going to put two, two steel posts up so they can hit them instead of the pole. Is it cars or is it semis or do you not? Cars. Cars. Yeah. Cars will take a T post burn. Sir? Don't you got a nail? Put that the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, down here at the, the main city shop door, the, I can see through the overhead door. The door is put in there as just one stage above no insulated door. I mean, you, in the winter time, you, you, you can actually see through the slots. And it's only an inch thick, and uh, the springs are broke already. So we've got an experience. I've got to put the springs in, but can I put a decent door in? Or you want me to? What's our shop expense? Wouldn't that fall under the, um, a grant, you know, for, um, mm -hmm. Is that the overhead door, the, like a garage door? Yeah. Wow. That could be a need on the community improvement. Well, he has a shop expense. Yeah, we have a shop. Oh. So okay. we'll see what we got in there. And How big is that door, Jerry? Is that a 14? No, 16 by 12. Or 12, you know, 12 oh, it's a smaller you door. You know, we have a budget. 12 wide, 16 yeah. high. No, a smaller yeah. door, they ain't very small. Is that 12 yeah. wide, 16 yeah. high? Pardon me? Do we have my oh, other way around? Other way around. Six, 12 by 16. Okay. Okay. She probably sent you that. It's only an inch thick. Whatever it wants. Instead of the yeah. three inches. They didn't get through everything. They should have. Yeah. Because it's sending your bail seamless. Actually, there's heat going out of that thing. You could you open up the overhead door, you hurry up and move around that corner quick because the water just runs because the frost is... Wow. <laughs> Saves you coffee money. Wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> Our total shop budget, guys, is $20,000. Yeah. How much oh. has been spent? Um, less than a thousand. About a thousand. And what would the door cost? I just I just called Rita really? and asked mm -hmm. her and they said a rough you know, the door to put the same door back in is 15, and a good door is like 25. And that's 100. 100. Yeah. Who, who is that, All Pro? No, it's Midland. Is what oh, okay. Who would install it then, Jerry, if you got it from Breda? I guess you're looking at the guy you're talking to. <laughs> I just have to get somebody to kind of help him. It's kind of a two man job. Yeah, 16 do. foot wide doors. I can hold your wrenches. <laughs> I can hold the wrenches. So can we make a motion to get the door? You yeah. signed it. I would move that we get a new door. No, 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 it's no. not on the agenda. No. no. All right. Sorry. If you want to have him use his discretion with his shop budget, you can do that. But no, no motion. Let me rephrase okay. that. Yeah. Why don't we let you use your discretion if you need a door? Yeah. It's. Like I said, the winter, I mean, the colder it gets, you turn the light off and you can see light through every panel. And with, the, with the cost of, of heating that yeah. any place, yeah, I think it would be a good idea. Be a recovery effort. Yes, yeah. we need a good door. Anything else, Jerry? Well, that was the three things that... that Gazebo thing over there, and I brought that up on that thing there. Like I said, we're going to do some of that gazebo and run for that centennial. And we'll have a look well, at if it's it. if it's getting rotten, it's probably a safety yeah. issue too. Yeah. I mean, it's not the whole thing, but it's just you know, 
Yeah. A couple of columns. Yeah, whatever we did. Last time I looked over there was a couple of years ago and it was rotten then. Yeah, it was. Getting a little bit cool worse wise, you know. And it's being used a lot more, so. Want somebody getting hurt. Okay, Nancy. Um, our community service day, when where we're going to have 69 students from the East Sac County School come and rake yards for our elderly. Um, and Larry, if you could have someone from your church get me a list of people in your church that could use their yard raked, I would love to have that. Um, is Thursday, October 27th. <laughs> With the rain date of the 28th. Our issue, and that was the other thing I was going to talk to you, Jerry, about, and I, I will, we can hash it out. Our issue is if we have 69 kids raking 30 yards, how do we haul the leaves? New dump truck. We still have two dump trucks. <laughs> One that runs. Dump um. truck. So that's a hurdle that we're going to have to kind of figure out a way to cross. I'll have to use my trailer. There ain't no way you get kids in there to throw leaves clear away. <coughs> Right. Well, and, and are we going to buy a supply of garbage bags for them? I mean, that seems like that's, that's a, that's a real waste. waste. But yeah. with pickups and you know, see if we could get pickups. And, and I guess maybe I'm going to need some volunteers for that day to help with some of that because Jerry's only one guy. 27th and 28th. What day? Is that a weekend? It's a Thursday. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Oh, it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. Oh, it'll be here yeah. about 12:30 and out of here by 2:30. We'll see what Larry can do. Did they bring in rakes? Yes. I mean, there's a lot. Yes, they're Who's all. Who's your contact there? person? Um, um, Sally Nellis. Okay. <laughs> I got away, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I about choked when she said what they wanted to do, but yeah. when she We're said that they would. Eastside East County. County. Junior High. Yeah. When she said that they would rake for private individuals, I thought, well, why not get them to come and do this? Huh? Is this a character counts thing? Yeah, probably. So, anyway, that's what day that is. Nancy, can I take you back to something? When you asked Larry for information from his church, have you already gotten information from the Catholic and Presbyterian? I have it from the Catholic, and I haven't made contact from the Presbyterian. Do you want to help me with that? Yeah. Now that you bring that up. Well, I can do it, or you can just simply contact Jim or Lorena. They'd have probably the best beat on that. And I usually see Jim and Lorena every once in a while, and I hadn't gotten a real worry about it. And I've added a couple myself of ladies that I know that need a little help. So, so if, if you if, are you going to, I'll take care. Just, of okay, good. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, otherwise I can bring it up in church, and it's like a concern, and we can see what people say, but. We never have the same people from week to week. You might do that anyway. You might yeah. mention that we could use some people with pickups to help haul leaves. If somebody from the church wanted to do that, Jim and Lorena will probably be good volunteers for that too. So, um, I am wind meeting is. I don't know where they're at right now, but they're trying to work on the sale of that project. The next meeting is also the 27th of October, and that one very, I keep saying this every month, that one could be a meeting in, in Ankeny. If that, if I have to be gone that day, I'm going to really be looking for volunteers to help coordinate all this, but um, the, there's a chance that the proposed sale will be on the agenda that day, so um, that may or may not happen. The only other thing I have before I shut up is I have a letter. It says, Dear Mayor Beidler, Auburn City Council, and City of Auburn, on behalf of the City of Lauraville, we would like to congratulate you on being named an all-star commu community by the Iowa League of Cities. This is a great honor for a town to receive the award. As one drives through your town, it is obvious to see why you were given this honor. It takes real dedication from an entire city to accomplish all of the work that you have done. The improvements to to your city will make a lasting impression for years to come. Best wishes to your city for your consider, continued accept, success. And it is signed by the mayor and all the council members of the city of Lauraville. Awesome. 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 And you'll see the award is there. Right here. And before you go, I want to show you the video that they played at the awards banquet. And I really wish you all would have went because this was way cool. Poor little Auburn with 322 people. 
was against towns of 3,000, and I sat at the table with the mayor from Ankeny, Urbandale, West Des Moines, and the award winner guy from Dubuque. And people hugged me afterwards. Awesome. People that I don't have a clue who they were come and talked to me and congratulated me. How did you get this done? What did you do? How did you start? I was there probably an hour afterwards answering people's questions, and you guys would have thought this was way cool. So thank you for the opportunity to let me go and accept the award. But I want to show you the video before you go. So. And you have also gotten other emails too from people having you that have drove through town and oh, yeah. have complimented. Always. And every time I go to the meeting, I get a lot of them. Compliment people for driving out. Yeah. Why don't you get this framed and mounted someplace here? This like for display. It's very nice. This would be nice that. for the city to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to make a copy of that for the next newsletter. Yep. Since yeah. this month is already done. Right. Because of the timing, I had to get it done. So. Don't, don't leave without watching the video. It's only three minutes. We have nothing on the solid waste board. How about the Sac County Emergency Board? Uh, meeting next Tuesday. Are we still in our band? Uh, as far as I'm aware. Okay, anything on the 125th celebration? No, no, but I think we didn't talk about it. The other night, we just talked about this thing. Okay. Fire department? Uh, yeah. We uh, had a meeting last night, and uh, we're looking at Arcadia is getting a new uh, quick attack unit, grass fire truck. We're looking at possibly buying their old one for roughly $3,000, and that would be uh, out of the association. Um, we were wondering uh, if it would be possible to have Nancy uh, write us a grant for an addition onto the station to put this truck in because we are out of room. If if we were to get it, so what, like, yeah, the where sack. would you put the? Where would the addition yeah. be? On the west side, by that way. And that would allow enough room for a vehicle. Yeah. Well, it'd be pretty close to the alley, wouldn't it? You wouldn't have very much visual access from the alley. Right. You what? Yeah. It'd just be it's like right. a single bay. Okay. What we would probably do is move the medical vehicle into there and put all the fire trucks in the in the firehouse because of the heat situation. Mm -hmm. The medical vehicle doesn't necessarily need to be in a heated garage. What's in... Well, let's see. Because as we sit right now, we have our we have our four bays. Right here is our Tahoe. Right here, going this way, is the old pumper. Here's the tanker. There's the new pumper. And there's the bus. And we're looking at... Right, and then this would be the cold storage. Uh, back here is a cold storage right yeah, now. Fine. Going back, back to the medical vehicle, that we have should it be in a place where it can freeze? I mean, it will be carrying things that might be... Uh, we don't have any liquids in there other than saline. Okay. And nothing else that's going to be, that the EMTs think would be tampered with by the cold? Um, I guess the only thing that may is the uh, automatic defibrillator. With the batteries. So you call medical vehicle. You, you talked about the bus. Right. And you talked about the, the tanker, and this is a new one, and this is a Tahoe. So where's no, the, the medical the, vehicle? The Tahoe is a medical vehicle. Oh, okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, then that okay. sits right here. The old pumper kind of sits at an yeah. angle to okay. get in there. And then the tanker, the new pumper, and the bus, which we're also exploring and replacing. Okay. Because one of these fires, it's not going to make it. In dyer's need of severe attention. Which one does all the pop and backfiring? That'd be the bus. That's the bus. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking for something used, and we are having a hard time finding anything used set up that's not in the same shape that we're in. One day when that went off. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm still stuck on this one. I'm slow. EMTs, do they have like equipment bags they keep in the, they right. in the garage? Yeah. And then they pick those up and go in the Tahoe. No, they are in the Tahoe already. So they'll still be in the Tahoe. Right. Okay. What, what we were thinking of doing was uh, create a grill, basically, great to still allow heat in there but not be a fully heated bay, I guess. Were any of the EMTs present at your meeting last night? Yes. Were they okay with that? Yep. Okay. Because we've had a lot of problems this year with that. Old pumper is probably not going to last us a long, long time because we can't get anything for it. And it's not. Basically, we're at the point where we're going to have to pull the motor on the old pumper to fix the transmission, also. We have a throw out bearing that's squealing like a stuck pig. And we'll pump the water, and it's just a matter of time there before that one's not usable. Yeah, I wasn't disputing that so much. I just right, concerned right. about the medical vehicle and the equipment. And, and at it. that point, I guess that would free up this if when, when and if that dies. But that currently, that is the only truck that we can, what we call pump and roll, which basically is pump of water while we're moving. Yeah. Uh, the rest of them are all stationary pump vehicles. Did you get rid of the old quick attack truck? Or you still got yeah, it? that old Dodge is gone. Okay. It was worse than anything else we have. Okay. And what's in the cold storage? The antique. So if we find a place for the antique truck, then that would free up a stall? Mm -mm. No? No, from the cold storage. Right, you have absolutely no That's insulation it. there. The cold we storage can... is only 10 foot wide, it's got a little small door on the back, as I recall. Yeah, no electric roll up or anything. So the Tahoe or nothing would fit back there? It would fit, but basically we want to cut a grade in between to still allow heat into that bay mm -hmm. so it's not bitter cold. But back here we cannot because nothing's insulated, nothing's, it's tin and wood. And that's it, it's just a shell. So, I mean, it's nothing that we have to decide tonight. It's just something that uh, we're looking into. It'll probably be February before we ever got this quick attack, because they, they're getting a new one. Are there grants available? We were wondering if it would qualify under the SAC uh, block grant that they hand out. The Endowment Foundation? Yeah. Maybe. And that one's a 50% match from city. 50% match from somebody. From, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that an However, ongoing one, Nancy, or is there a deadline? Is that in, do they have a deadline on that yes, one? Yes, the it deadline it? for that is December 1. Okay. If you're going to make this year's grant round. What about that Renzi Foundation? Is that a, what kind of a grant is that? What, is that? what does that have to be from? I They just kind of make an announcement of when they're having a grant round, and I don't know the details okay. on that. I okay. can't answer you. They just had one in, you know, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just so did one this, this spring. How often they do it? Like in June, I think we did. It's once a year. Right? I mean, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And there may be something through Homeland Security, but I think that would be a big stretch. That, and I think FEMA's pretty well dried up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the chances of getting out of... Homeland Security is dried but, up, too. But, I mean, right it doesn't take that much more to write a grant, but... Right. But what you have to have is specific plans that have been approved by the council and specific cost estimates. Okay. I can't do anything, even with the endowment foundation grant, without huge specifics. Okay. Okay. And I think that one is going to be I'll maybe a have uh, Randy Booth get a hold of you on yeah. what, what they're all going to need on that. Cause that's, they just wanted me to bring it to your attention that we were thinking towards this. So. I mean, if council's willing to devote my time, I guess I'm willing, but council has to also approve the project right. before you can ap ap apply for that grant. Where would the door be on the garage, on that one that's on the west side there? It would also be the south. Facing south. Yeah. And then we could, at, at that point, we could also switch around vehicles at that point. And Basically, this quick attack we need for fall. I mean, this this fall was absolutely crazy for us. Uh, I want to say we had upwards around 20 fires for sure in the fields. 
And we could always switch around in wintertime, move the Tahoe back into the heated bay and drain that truck and put it out in, you know what I mean? It's going to ruin Martin's view of the road, isn't it? Give that a thought. Yep. Lock it in a little bit tighter. There's no place else to go. No. But only other thing, I guess, we have a little notch out back here on the, I guess it'd be the north side of our meeting room. That That's kind of, I was trying to get at before. You mean over by Nathan's? But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I wondered about that. I'd have to look at it. But it's it got a lot of electrical stuff is. But could be inside. Could yeah, that could all be put inside. You know, it's all conduit to it, so if you ever have service. But you'd have to redo the sidewalk to the Yeah, that's right. That, that's where you're running it into. All up. And you won't have the parking. Will yeah. Nathan's building ever be coming up for? You're better off going where it's Yeah, it, it's, it's in the side. process now. They're working on the house sale right now. Did somebody buy it yet? No, they just got it assessed at eighty-five thousand. So. Oh, wow. I talked to him in here yesterday. So. Well, Jerry does really well on the door on the garage. I said he can come over and help with that one. This <laughs> <laughs> would be the pro around here. <laughs> but they just wanted me to bring it to your attention that we we're thinking this way. And if you want me to get some specifics, I can sure do that and see what we. Thinking cost wise and stuff, and you probably better get some more information for us. Okay. And then maybe, um, have you done a block grant with them before, with with Sac County, the little one that we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, we received several for the I mean, library yeah. and the yeah. museum okay. and, and things so, like so that. So we have the guidelines on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she's the president. Yeah. Oh, and out of that group. No. Oh. I'm not the foundation president. I'm You're on the group. I'm in the group, yes. Yeah, what, what is Shirley Phillips doing now these days? SCTD. Yeah, she's the president okay. of the foundation. Okay. okay. And the, yeah. Okay. Rec committee? Nothing there. Just putting on the fall fest. Library board. I have nothing. Historical. They're having a bake sale, aren't they? At the, are they asking for baked goods? Or mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything on it. Don't you read the newsletter? <laughs> yeah. The newsletter. Yeah, I did. No, I <laughs> you know what? I just looked at it tonight. <laughs> they are because they asked Green to put it in our church bulletin. Yeah, I just raced it off. I was looking for shit tonight. <laughs> Meeting's starting to get long, isn't it, Sam? Yeah. Okay, does the council have any other issues or comments? I do. I received this anonymous note in the mail that I just wanted to make the council aware of in regards to Jane Bardo. This come from a concerned citizen about her running. Janelle, the Carroll paper said that Jane Bardo is running as a challenger in the Auburn City Council race. A person must vote where they live. Jane Bardo lives at 443 East Pleasant Road, Ridge Road, Carroll, Iowa, 51401. Avoid fraud. A Carroll paper reader. Thank you. Um, I have called Jane about it and told her that I received it in the mail. And she has reassured me that... She has done everything as far as changing her yeah, she's established address residence and here. got her voters um, changed to Sac County and um, has gotten even her car license and everything changed to Sac County. Okay. So she um, reassures me that this is all been taken care of. But anyway, I just wanted everybody to know that there are people out there that are concerned. Obviously. I thought maybe I'd recognize the writing, but I don't recognize the writing. I don't either. I mean, and I it's postmarked to Arcadia. I don't recognize it at all. So I don't know who, who did it, but, you know, and like Jane said, too, she, she's sure she has a lot of enemies out there, and, but, you know, let bygones be bygones, so. 
anyway, I just wanted you guys to be aware of it, that there are people out there that were concerned by her taking the position as running for council. So. Okay, anyone else? No. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second? Oh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We should carry. We got that one. <laughs> <laughs> but don't leave, Nancy's going to show I, us our little... I get better oh, as the night goes. There you go. There you go.